this crazy show I call my channel. Today I have a requested video. I had asked you guys maybe like a week or two ago if you wanted to see my skincare hair care haul. I don't. I rarely buy hair stuff or skincare stuff unless I am in need of it. I have completely run out of it. So here is what I have. Now I also went ahead and purchased things that are not just for me as far as hair care. I also purchased it for both of my girls. So you're gonna see a few things here that are like different where I may have one product that does the same but different brands, maybe a little bit of tweaking because it's not just me that's gonna be using this stuff. It's also my girls. One has very, very thick, heavy, coarse hair and the other one has very fine and light colored hair. So we all have different kind of hairstyles or hair types so I just wanted to try out a few things. So because you guys requested this, here we go, you guys. Let's do this. So heads up, the majority of the stuff that you will be seeing here today is from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I love shopping there. I have shopped there since I was a child. That's where I grew up and bought all of my stuff, even as an adult. Yes, that's where I did most of my shopping. And I do have a few things from the 21 Days of Beauty. Now everything is mumble jumble. So I do remember where I got things, but it's not necessarily gonna be like, oh, here's the, the you know, the 21 Days of Beauty thing. This is, no, I just, I honestly, it's all in here, so I don't know. And my kids are outside playing. You might hear screaming, because they're wild animals. All right, so let's start out with the big stuff first. So this is the first thing I purchased, like I mentioned, I have a, a, an official teenager now in the house and she has very, very thick hair. So I tend to not buy hair like blow dryers often because I buy really good ones. I gave her my old one that has been kicking now for a few years and it works well for her hair. So I went ahead and purchased my own blow dryer. This is the Chi Pro Low EMF. It's a professional hair dryer in hot pink metallics. So this is what it looks like here with the attachments on here. I have been using it and I really do like it. I really do like it. So this one, if you're curious, cost a whopping 60 bucks. Yes, it was a little bit expensive, but I tend to invest in my blow dryers because I know they're gonna be long-term. And I've only had to buy about four blow dryers in my life because I try to buy good ones so then I'm not buying a new one every single year. So this is my new blow dryer and guess what? Alexandra's back. Okay, the other two large things. Now these I literally just bought yesterday and I figured I'll include them in here. We were at BJ's. We shop at BJ's because that's what's around our area and it just is convenient for us. We, I, There's a Sam's Club, but it's a lot further and there's a Costco yet again a lot further. And you guys already know, we're already driving 20 to 30 minutes anywhere we go. So we just stick to BJ's. And while we were there getting house stuff, I saw these, you guys. <laughs> And I might go back for another two more. Mr. Man might not know that, but I might go back for another two more. I found these. These are the makeup uh, eraser ones, the original and the chic black. These were on sale for $9.99. $9.99 at BJ's, you guys. They were half off. So I ended up buying two because I have the minis and I've never been able to pull the plunge, plunge on uh pull the plug on buying the original large one. So for 10 bucks, I paid for $20 for four. So I'm not mad at that and I might go back for two more. Just a heads up, I needed these because uh, my ones that I originally got in PR are very, very beat up. So I did end up getting two of these. All right, so I pulled out the stuff that I did get at the 21 Days of Beauty. It's easy to the point, you guys. The only skincare product I did end up purchasing from the 21 Days of Beauty was this. This is the Murad Targeted Wrinkle Corrector. All right, there goes my ring light again. Oh my God, I'm so sick of your ring light. All right, so this is what this looks like here, you guys. I have been using this. I have it on today, specifically on the two fine lines that I have here that are getting uh, deeper into my brain, you know, because of that scar that I have here. So I have been using it. Read the instructions before you put this on because I was dumb and did not read that you should put this on first before any of your skincare or SPF and I was doing it the opposite way and I was wondering why 
that area was looking very dry. Don't do that. Do this first. But I did definitely notice a difference. Now, is this permanent? No, this is more of a temporary thing, but that's what I want. This may be my primer because I purchase a primer to smooth out fine lines, but this does such a phenomenal job. I'm not even joking. It does such a phenomenal job. Look at that phenomenal job on this that I think this just might be my face primer because all I needed is for that and maybe my crow's feet under here. Good to go. So yeah, I bought this half off. I'm a little bit, uh, this, it, the way that I'm using it, I have a feeling this is going to last me a while. So this may last me until another sale where I can use either a, a coupon on it, um, my points on it or something because it's $70 full price, which is very pricey, but I didn't mind spending the 30 some dollars because that, that to me was worth it. And it does work. It does work. No, no joke. It really does work. So that's my thought process is I have a feeling this is going to be now my primer and I won't buy an actual face primer because that's all that I really need it for. And I can apply it in the morning and at night. And maybe I'll try it at night too. Oh, maybe I'll try it at night to see if that works when I wake up in the morning. So that's one of the skincare products that I got. The other things that I bought at the 21 Days of Beauty were brushes. This is what I really wanted besides makeup that I already shared with you guys in my makeup rehab series. I ended up buying It Cosmetic brushes. Now, all, I own quite a bit of It Cosmetics brushes, but the way that I acquired them was back in the day before um, It Cosmetics was like big, they only were on QVC. And every time you purchase a product on QVC, whether it was their foundation, they are face products, complexion products, a blush, a bronzer, the whole trio. You would get a free brush with it. And that's how me and my mother acquired all the brushes from them. But they had these. These are specifically Ulta brushes. And I really love their brushes. So I wanted to get a few because I haven't bought brushes in a long time from Make Cosmetics. So I got the number 112. This is the Airbrush uh, Precision uh, Shadow. I bought two of these because you guys know I love more than one eye brush if I love it because I like to always have one clean. So these are two, I haven't opened them up yet, but these I've been a fan of, so I'm happy I got those. And then I bought just one of each foundation brush because I have powder uh, foundations now, liquid foundation, serum foundation. So I wanted to get brushes that I can use to see which, what I like with what formula because sometimes not all brushes work with everything. So the first one I got, this was a serum brush and this is like on an angle. So this is what this looks like, it's on an angle here. So this is like for the one serum foundation I have. Then I bought the smoothing foundation, which is more like your typical rounded one. I thought this would be really nice for quite a few different foundations that I have. This is the complexion foundation one. It's a lar larger angled one here. And then the last one is a blurring foundation, which is this kind of brush right here. Now all these as well, I can use them with my cream bronzers, clean, uh, cream or liquid blushes, cream liquid highlighters. In the summer, you guys know I like to use more cream products. So these will also come in handy for that. And I can keep these around. And, um, and I know these are gonna last me a long time. Like for me, this is an investment. And these were half off. I believe like this was like $7, I think, or something like these, these foundation brushes were like 12. That's a steal because an e.l.f. brush is gonna cost me a good six, six, seven dollars. For a little bit more, I'm getting good quality brushes. So this is the other thing I did end up getting at the 21 Days of Beauty. This might be a long video because I did get a lot at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Now, the days that I purchased all these things, my dog was getting neutered and with all his medical conditions, I was like a wreck. So Mr. Man's like, you know what? You've been asking for hair care stuff. Why don't we take advantage, go out shopping, ease your mind while we're waiting for the dog to get back. So that's what I did, you guys, that's what I did. Some of these things I did end up ordering on Ulta's website, but it wasn't necessarily through um, any kind of deal, um, like the 21 Days of Beauty, but I did include them in my purchases. So you, I'll let you guys know what I what what is what, because everything is mumble jumble. All right, you guys, so I completely used up all of my cleansing balms, cleansing oils, anything to take my makeup off, completely used them all up. I was using two Neutrogena ones, completely gone. I have not, I had nothing left, so I needed something to play around with. And for a year, I've been trying to get the e.l.f. one. I finally did, but I mean, a year, it's been out of stock and all of my stores, and I just don't order like that online often. I don't go on e.l.f. website to order often, so I didn't get it uh, through the website, but I did find it, so I'll tell you that about it. But the first thing I did get was this. This is from Ulta. This is the Urban Hydration Olive 
and rose hip cleansing oil. So this is what this looks like, you guys. It's a cleansing oil that also has skincare benefits to it. It helps with, um, it has vitamin E, it has olive oil and rose hip oil. And basically it helps with dark spots as well on your face after continuously using it. And all you need is a few drops. You guys, I fell in love with this stuff. I love an oil and I also like a balm, but I like to mix things up and I don't like to use the same thing over and over. This is something that I can see myself buying again. Little bit goes, I've used this quite a bit, you guys, and it looks like I have not, not used it at all. And I've used this quite a bit. I put about like five drops for myself and I lather it on my face. It warms up you feel this warming sensation, but like a nice calming warming sensation on your face and it takes everything off, everything off. There are some cleansing bombs that I've realized like in the past that I've used where I've really had to take my time to go through my lashes gently to get off the mascara. This works wonders and this has such great reviews on Ulta's website that's why I purchased it and it was not that expensive I believe this was like ten dollars awesome you guys I highly would recommend this if you're looking for a natural cleansing balm it has a really nice soft subtle sweet smell to it it doesn't smell artificial it smells natural and it, and it says rose hip but it doesn't smell like roses it smells sweet to me love this this is something that I will definitely repurchase I've used this quite a few times already really enjoy that a lot. The other cleansing balm I bought from Ulta was this one. This is in the jumbo version. This is 30% off. It currently is, as we speak, 30% off. I haven't opened it up yet, so I haven't played around with it. So let me see. Ugh. Get my skizzers. Let's see, you guys. I have not tried this at all, but it had great reviews and I wanted to try a new cleansing balm. It comes with um, the actual like spatula and the cover of it. I actually keep those because I use them with other cleansing balms. So this is what this one looks like right here. This is the Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm Oil. They have many different ones. This is from Vanilla Company, Vanilla Co, Vanilla Co. It seems like it's, a, um, it's an Asian kind of, of cleansing balm. Let me smell it. Oh, it's closed up on here. All right, I'll use it and let you guys know what I think about it, but I wanted to try it, had great reviews on it, and it was 30% off, so get the jumbo one, Alex. I hate buying, I shouldn't say hate. I'm not somebody who loves to, or enjoys buying hair care or skincare often, so when I see something that has great reviews, I'll just buy the big one to make it last, because I just don't want to keep buying it. So this is the other one I did end up getting. All right, let's continue with Ulta. I put the box on my lap just to keep going. I ended up buying this. I needed a, um, a serum. I ran out of all of my serums. As you guys know, I do this. And then I got one in, <laughs> in the mail. But that's a night serum, which is great because I don't have to buy a night one. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So I've heard great reviews about this one. So I wanted to get this one for the daytime. So I got this one. I've not tried it, so I don't know about it. All right, where's another one? So here's more hair care. Like this is from Ulta. This had really great reviews. This is the Miele. I think it's how you say Miel or Miele. I would think it's me. I don't know. I don't know how to say this brand, but this is the Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. This was only like about $10. And I wanted to try it. As I'm getting older, my hair, I notice, is uh, getting not as thick anymore. So I want something to keep at least some sort of treatment in my scalp. This is for daily use scalp treatment split end care. And it had great reviews on the website. So I'm going to give this a try and see how I like that. We completely ran out of um, some, what is it called? Heat protector in this house. Three hairs, washing all the time. We ran out of it completely. So I bought some for my girls and for myself. And a few I have tried, a few I have not. So I ended up getting two of these. These are from the Eva NYC brand. I heard so many great things about this brand. So this is new. This one is the 10 in one primer for fine hair. It has argan oil and sunflower seed oil. We have used this one quite a few times, very fine mist on this. And I will suggest do not overdo this. Like just spray enough but don't go overboard because it will make your hair look oily after you blow dry it. That is a mistake I made, but it is beautiful. And once I realized a little bit goes a long way and not spray too much, it, it is nice and it has a really nice scent to it. So I bought this specifically for my youngest because she has fine hair and I did use it on her again last night and it worked out perfectly fine. So I do like this, um, but it feels a lot lighter than this one because I haven't used this one yet. This is the original one. This is the 10 in one primer. Again, argan oil and sunflower seed oil. So this is just a regular version. 
I wanted to try this one for myself. I have not tried this yet or my oldest can use that. I ended up getting uh, this. This is the Hask Argan Oil. Um, this is the repairing hair oil made with argan oil. We ran out of oils in our family. I was using the Moroccan oil one, which works wonders. Love the smell of it. But I wanted to try something else, and this had great reviews. So let's see what this looks like. So this is what it looks like. It's a spray. The other one that I had was like an actual oil that you pour in your hand. So this is what this one looks like. My oldest has very dry, thick hair, like her ends are always dry. So I need an oil for her, for her hair. And I also do like it myself in the summertime because we're in pools at the beach with sand and salt and things. So I do like to have things like this to help with our hair because we're always outdoors. You know, I, I try to protect my hair too, just as much as I'm trying to protect my face. So I did end up getting that. And then while I was there, I figured let's try these. I ran out of, I, I'm not even kidding you guys, I ran out of all hair care products. The only thing I had left was my volumizing spray that I used up, the little mini. I have a large one of that. Other than that, I used up everything else for my hair. I just don't buy hair products and when I do, it's all in one shot and then I'm done. <laughs> So with these, here is the 5-in-1 Leave-In Thickens and Detangles. As you guys know, this is for my youngest. She has very fine hair that tangles up rather easily, very easily. So I like things like this for her hair and she's almost out of the one that I was using for her. So this is a leave-in spray that thickens and detangles. Hopefully it'll help. I'm gonna try that for myself. And then this one is, again, this is the... This one has biotin in it and this has argan oil in it. So this is for my oldest. This is the five in one leave-in, it conditioned and detangles. Hers is very thick hair. So she doesn't need something that um, has biotin in it. She has very thick hair. She doesn't need help in that department, but she does need something that'll make it more sleek. She hates the frizz in her hair. So I'm trying to find things that'll help that it's not breaking the bank that'll help my girls out. So okay, a few more things from Ulta. They have three more things. I ended up getting this brush for free because I purchased some things on here that had like a free brush and I didn't even know I was getting this. This is the Wet Brush Go Green Charcoal Infused Treatment and Shine Brush. So I never heard of this one. So I got a new brush, even though I had purchased brushes myself. So we haven't played around with this one. I'm, I'm most likely gonna put this in my, my shower to see if I like it. Maybe I'll do that. And then the other two things that I did get was this one. This is the other thing I got from this brand, Miel, Miel, I don't know how to say it. Is the Rosemary um, mint blend strengthening leave-in conditioner. Again, great leave-in conditioner. I wanted to try something that's not breaking the bank for my girls. This is specifically, I'm, bu I'm buying this for the summertime. Pools a lot, my kids do swimming classes. So there's a lot of things where our hair is always in water or in direct sunlight. So I wanted to have something that'll protect us more. So that one, and then the other one I wanted to try was this one. This one sounded good because mango. Mango is my favorite fruit. If you don't know, fun fact, mango is my favorite all-time fruit. I can eat mango every day and never get tired of it. So this they had from this brand. This is the Mango and Tulsi Botanic Blend, a leave-in conditioner for hair and scalp care. So this is for me and it smells good. <laughs> mm, that smells so good, you guys. Ah, I love that smell. So hopefully this stuff will work. I will report to you guys how things are going with me with this stuff because I also would care to know if I'm repurchasing them or not. Okay, so now let's move on to Marchal and TA Max, as my family has always said. First and foremost, I bought these because obviously the makeup erasers were not on sale. This was a yesterday purchase. This I already had purchased. These were on sale for $10, $9.99 at Marshall's. And I bought one for me and one for my kid, my daughter. Now that she's getting into eye makeup, I wanted to buy her. These are makeup removing towels. So they come in a seven pack. So I got this shade and then this shade. So I'll let her pick whichever one she wants. And I was gonna keep the other ones for myself. These are great for towel and it comes in a little bag. And for $10, I thought this was a good deal. I don't know if these are any better than those, but this is better than having makeup wipes. So I ended up getting these since I have not purchased these in a while and I really needed to replenish it. Other thing I needed to replenish was my twisty, turby twist. I replaced them for my daughter. She already took them and is using them. So I ended up getting these. These are the print ones. Um, these were, $6.99, so I thought that was a great deal for two of these. I don't keep these in my hair forever. I get out of the shower, put this on, get dressed, and then take it right off. So it's in my hair for 
at most 10 minutes after I get out of the shower. I don't like to keep these in my hair forever because I know it pulls on your hairline and things like that. But I also like to have my hair air dry on its own. But these, I just do it so it's not dripping on my back as I'm getting dressed, that drives me nuts. So that's why I purchased these and I use these. So I need a new one, so yay, I got new ones. Okay, so this was a Target purchase because I couldn't find it anywhere else. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Makeup Melt Bomb. I told you guys, I've I've tried to find this for a year and it's been sold out everywhere I go. I have used it. I, I like it. It's oilier, like it's more slick feeling than the other ones that I was using as far as the one from Pharmacy, the one from Neutrogena. But nobody ever mentioned that this has a slight scent to it. Uh, anybody's reviews that I've ever heard about this has said this is great, but I've never heard anybody say that it has a smell. And it does have an artificial an artificial smell to it that I'm not a fan of. I like my bombs to be no scent. And if it is scented, let it be natural. This smells like perfume to me. So that's what's deterring me a little bit of it. It smells on me. And you guys, I have a bionic nose. So if you don't smell it, I have a bionic nose. I can smell it. So yeah, I like it. I don't love it for that reason. So I'm on the fence whether maybe this might be better. And if this has a scent, I'm screwed. <laughs> this is definitely going to be a repurchase. So um, I don't know if the elf one will be. I ended up getting this setting. This one was for me. This is the Raw Sugar Multi Miracle Leave-In Conditioner and Heat Protectant. I have used this and love this. You guys love this. Now I spray this on. This has coconut milk and blue agave in it. It's supposed to tame frizz and things. It does work, you guys. Um, one of the hot days, the one day that we had 80 degrees, I came home and I had to take another shower. I put this on my hair, even though I knew I was going to have my hair air dry. Next day I woke up, my hair was not frizzy, was not all over the place. I was able to style it and it looked beautiful. This I really do like. This might be something that if I don't like any of the other heat protectants, I'm going to go back for this one. And this is not that expensive. You can find this at Target or Walmart. Really nice. I like this a lot and my kid liked it and the smell. It's really nice on this one. So that's the one that I have been using and I've really been liking it. Speaking of heat protectants, before I found this, I had purchased these and I didn't know what the difference was. So I just went ahead and bought both. Cause again, we have three sets of hair in this household that will be using some sort of heat protectant with traveling and things. I wanted to stock up and not have to worry about buying these all over again. Cause I just don't like buying this stuff often. So I ended up buying these two. This is from the brand Chi. This is the thermal protecting spray. I bought this at Marshall's for $10.99. Figured, you know what, $10.99 is not bad considering these go for like 20 bucks anywhere else. And then they had this one, the Chi Vibes Know-It-All Multitasking Hair Protector. I didn't know what the difference was and this one was $12.99. So this is three more dollars than this one was. And I will tell you, I can see a separation of oil in here. Like I can see it. There's like a film of oil, so I don't know. If, ooh, it turned purple, look at that. It split from blue to pink and now it's turning purple. How cute is that? What? I didn't know it did that. <laughs> oh, the little things that excite me. So anyway, I'm gonna try these two, see what the difference is between them. I don't know what the difference is. This says multitasking protector and this one says thermal protection spray. So I don't know what the difference is, but I figured I'd give those a shot too. Why not? While I was there, I bought the Chi uh, texturizing spray. So I need a new texturizing spray. And this was only $9.99 at Marshall's. So I went ahead and purchased this one because I wanted a some sort of styling spray. And I also purchased these two. This is by BioSilk. I used to use BioSilk as a kid when my hair was very thick and it worked out well for me. So I wanted to get this for myself. This is the Silk Therapy 17 Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. So it's a spray. I have not used it yet, but we'll see how that goes. And then the other one is the Bio Silk, uh, Silk Therapy Light. Um, and this is supposed to be like that oil you put on your hair. And I used to love this as a kid. It's ultra light leave in treatment. So it's, it's supposed to be for fine and thin hair, which is perfect for me and my youngest. So we're going to use this one for our little cabello because you know, we have the little thin hair going on. And the last things I bought were these. These were from Kenneth's, or wait, Kristen, Kristen S. Brushes. These were on sale at Marshall's. I already took off the things because I've been using them. I just cleaned them out. This is a paddle brush. And then this is your regular one. And these are supposed to be good and like soft for your hair, for thin hair. So this one was $3.50 and this one was on sale for $3. And you couldn't beat those because these are more expensive at Target, Walmart, on and 
at Ulta's website. So for $3 each, basically, I went ahead and purchased these two for myself, not knowing that I was gonna get this one for free, but that's okay, because I do like these. I'm more of a comb girl. I have very wide tooth combs. I've used them since a kid. My grandmother has always raised me on those. She always told me those are the best for your hair. It doesn't like break your hair out. So I always use those, but these come in handy for like hairstyles like this, where that comb can't do that for me, and I need a new one, so I went ahead and bought that. All right, you guys. I told you guys it was a lot. This is not my norm. You have rarely, if anything, seen a hair care, skin care kind of haul on my channel because I don't do these often. This stuff that I purchase, I will not be repurchasing again. I legit ran out of everything all at once when it came to my hair stuff. I include, including needing to replace brushes. I mean like my little twisty tie. I mean these things are stuff that I needed to replace and I am not somebody who buys this often. I'm not, this is enough for me. Again, I bought stuff for me and my two girls and they both have totally different hair styles. Hair, hair, like everything, texture, thickness, even color. One has very dark hair, one has very light blondy brownish hair. So I had to cater to both, but I'm excited to try this stuff out. I want to get my hair to be somewhat healthy because Pretty soon I'm gonna have to start dyeing it with all the grays coming in. So I want to prep my hair to be as healthy as possible when I start to do the dyeing process for the rest of my life. <laughs> the first 40 years I didn't dye my hair, now the last, the last however many years I live, I'm gonna have to end up dyeing my hair in some capacity. So I just wanna make sure that I have the hair product treatments that work for me and get myself and my hair as strong as possible. So when that time comes, I'm good, you guys, I'm good. If you've tried any of these products, please let me know because I am new to this. I went solely by the price range, I didn't wanna to go too expensive because I just didn't know what I was getting myself into and what I needed or what I wanted. And the reviews, reviews were big, big. And I did end up getting a lot of these hair products through reviews. And some of these reviews are really good like this. I'm telling you guys, if anything, if you're looking for something inexpensive, a cleansing oil, this is amazing. I really, really do like that a lot. So yeah, I'm going to be diving in, playing around, having fun. Some things I like, some things I'm like, eh, but I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning. So thank you guys so much for watching more videos on the screen for your enjoyment. Until then, peace out.